Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 13 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about something called cache and temp files. So whenever you are actually working in Photoshop, what it does is it saves all of the uh, temporary files in, inside of your hard drive. So if you're not careful, then you might actually have a load of temporary files in your hard drive. So in order to clear that out, what you can do is you can go to edit and go to preferences right here. And over here, uh, let's just go to general and see, let's over here on the left side, uh, there's performance. Over here, you can see that you can actually choose something called scratch disk. Right now, what is happening is that uh, I'm using C. So sometimes my I, I do have a lot of free space over here. And if you um, run out of free space, then you get, get some error like uh, run out of scratch disk. So in that case, you can choose multiple hard drives just like this. So it increases the uh, amount, temporary amount of, uh, of, um, of temporary amount of data that Photoshop can use. So you can work with Photoshop without any uh, memory errors in the latest days. So even here, you can see that the memory uses that my computer is allowing Photoshop to use is this around 5 GB. Uh, so I can increase this number to, so that I can allocate more RAM to Photoshop and thus increasing my performance of Photoshop or the amount of work that I can do in Photoshop. So you can even uh, sometimes like if you uh, have the uh, graphics, if you have a good graphics card, in my case, I have GTX uh, 790. So uh, I can enable and disable the use of graphics card. And you even have the advanced settings on if you want advanced graphics uh, to be uh, used or not. So if you want to use your graphics card very well, and you can just turn on the advanced mode and then it'll turn on uh, use the full capacity of the graphics card so this is how you can simply increase the performance of your um, um of your like for of photoshop so over here there are some other settings as well so general setting is usually like uh, so you can just see like what, what they are for. There's animated zoom, so you, you can enable and disable things like this as well. You can even change the color scheme of your interface. You can change the sync, get, uh, uh, sync settings. Like if you have uh, a Creative Cloud account, then you can actually sync your files over there. And there's the um, file handling. So if you uh, want to edit files or handle different kind of file types, then you can use the file handling tab over there. Uh, file perform the performance is what we some uh, we talked about. There's the cursor setting, transparency settings on what kind of grid you want. So even you can change the background grid if you want to show the transparent in different uh, checkerboard styles and so forth. So there's units and rulers, of course, that uh, that we talked in previous lesson. There's uh, grid guides, uh, grids and guides, even plugin manager. Uh, type manager and experimental features just like this so you can increase the RAM over here where you can increase the video RAM that uh, that the Photoshop can use and so forth so uh, all of the settings are right here in the uh, preferences itself so usually you want to be careful about the file handling uh, you can want to be careful about the performance because Sometimes you run out of space and the Photoshop might not <coughs> run correctly. So in order to do that, just use this setting right here and then you're good to go. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.